Hi everyone, we're going to discuss everything you need to know about the dynamic cell membrane in two minutes, starting now. So the membrane's role is to basically promote homeostasis. It controls what can go in and what can leave your cell. We use the fluid mosaic model to describe the cell membrane. We say it's fluid because your membrane is actually moving. We call it a mosaic because there are all of these different components within the membrane itself. So we've got these things called proteins, we've got little uh, cholesterol molecules, we've got um, carbohydrates. Uh, so we need to know a little bit about the chemistry behind this phospholipid bilayer. So it's called a phospholipid bilayer because it's made up of phospholipids and there are two layers of them, the inside of which um, are these things called nonpolar hydrophobic tails, and the outside of which are these polar um, phosphate groups, so they like water. Some things can get through the membrane pretty easily. We call this passive transport. Generally, if you're small, uncharged, or hydrophobic, you'll be able to get through easily. Uh, things like gases can move through pretty passively. Active transport is required for larger, more polar molecules. One, because these molecules are tightly packed, so they need space to move through. And polar molecules struggle because they have to fight against all of these nonpolar interactions inside the membrane. Factors that can affect fluidity are temperature, whether or not the tails are saturated or unsaturated, and whether or not there's cholesterol present. Temperature, if you increase the temperature, the membrane gets more fluid. Um, if the tails are unsaturated, they're bendy, so they're going to introduce space and therefore your membrane will be more fluid. Saturated fatty acids are straight lines, so they're going to pack really tightly and you're going to end up with decreased fluidity of your membrane. Cholesterol actually acts as a buffer, so when the temperature gets too high, the presence of cholesterol actually brings down the fluidity so your membrane doesn't just break apart and become liquid. And at colder temperatures, um, it's going to have the opposite effect. Uh, so that is all the time we have for today, and we've gotten through everything you need to know about the membrane in two minutes. Thanks for joining us. Bye.